Do consumers really care about nutritional information? In the U.S., all food and food labeling, except for meat, poultry, and eggs, are regulated by the FDA. Meat, poultry, and eggs are regulated by USDA and often individual state departments of agriculture. Results of the 2019 U.S. Grocery Shopper Trends Research Report by the Hartman Group for the Food Marketing Institute of 1,786 U.S. primary shoppers aged 18 or older showed that baby boomers and older generations are more likely to shop for food that's labeled low sugar, low sodium, low fat, high fiber, and low carbohydrate. No surprise. As we've said before, as boomers are getting closer to death, life becomes more important and they have started reading labels a lot more. But it's not black and white and can be misleading to shoppers. So be transparent on your store brands and prepared foods. Here are the legal use of the above terms. Low sugar. There is no allowed FDA low sugar term, so it may not be used. A reduced or less sugar term may be used if the food has 25% less sugar per the referenced amount that's customarily consumed. Low sodium is defined by FDA as 140 milligrams or less per rack per 50 gram portion or per 100 grams of main dish or meal. Low fat is also defined by the FDA as 3 grams or less per 50 gram portion or 3 grams per 100 grams of main dish or meal and not more than 30% of calories from fat. Low carbohydrate. There is no allowed FDA low carbohydrate term, so it may not be used. According to the research, Millennials and Generation Z shoppers most often look for packaging claims of natural, gluten-free, free-range, and certified humane. Natural. The FDA has not made a rule to establish a formal definition for the term natural, but the FDA has considered the term natural to mean that nothing artificial or synthetic, including all color additives, regardless of source, has been included in or has been added to a food that would not normally be expected to be in that food. Confusing. Gluten-free. The gluten-free rule specifies that any foods that carry the label gluten-free or no gluten or free of gluten or without gluten must contain less than 20 parts per million of gluten. That's not necessarily gluten-free. Free range or free roaming. For meat or poultry to be labeled, the USDA rules state that the producer must demonstrate to the agency that the poultry has been allowed access to the outside. Note allowed access, not necessarily be outside. Unfortunately, Facebook, blogs, vlogs, Instagram, and TV radio still lead with the most nutrition misinformation. Celebrities account for 87% of nutrition misinformation, followed by friends and family at 84%. People with similar personal experiences, 73%. Nurses, chiropractors, physical therapists, occupational therapists, and pharmacists at 54%. And medical docs, hey, they're only at 36%. Thousands more reasons to be sure you have a registered dietitian in your stores to advise your shoppers with the truth.